action. Well, Melissa, the last time we talked was at the stockyards in Marfa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the nice heat. Uh, yes, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And a little bit dusty. Uh, yeah, just a, a bit. And your hair was a lot shorter then. Sure was. Whew. You're let it, going to let it grow out real long or what? I haven't decided yet. It'll be longer than it is now. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to let it get real long or not. I think I might just for a change because I haven't had long hair in a few years. What was it like for you? Because I didn't ask you this when we were down on location. What was it like when you looked in the mirror that first time with the short hair? I cried like a baby. I was so upset. I mean, my mother brought me up, you know, with my woman's hair as her crowning glory, and I always had these tresses and these, this, this red, long hair, always set, you know, and, and full and beautiful, and they cut it off, and that's, when you have no hair, that's just your face, you know? And I just, it really scared me. And I looked so young. It knocked me for a loop. And I cried and cried. I felt fat all of a sudden. I mean, I just, I went through a lot. But then, after a while, I started to see Charlie. And that's what made it worth it. That seeing how much it changed me to become a different person, a different character, uh, it really made Charlie work. Yes, it did. What about Rob, the first time your boyfriend, Rob Lowe, saw it? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> Rob, first time he saw it, I was looking in the mirror crying when he walked in. And he said, don't cry, your hair is beautiful. And what's more is you did it for a part, and that makes it even better. He said, and I think you look adorable. No wonder you love that guy. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> He's no, he wouldn't be a hard guy to love anyway. No, was, he was in a good mood that day, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. OK. Uh, Melissa, I'm wondering now, uh, as you're looking at the film, all finished and it's up there, you can't change anything now, um, you told me on location in Marfa that it was the hardest work you'd ever done as an actress. And I'm wondering now, as you look at it, was it all worth it? Oh, yeah. Every frame, every second. And it doesn't show. You know, the heat and the sweat and the, the, the bruises and the muscle sore and I mean just all of that, the sore back, the sore neck, none of that shows and it, it just all adds to Charlie and it's really amazing how beautiful that film is. It's really beautiful to look at and it's so entertaining. Richard is so I knew he would be great. I knew he would be great and he is and Michael it really turned out a lot better than I ever expected it to. That's a great feeling because this is oh, your I'll big say. screen debut. And I know we talked about it in Marfa that you had a little bit of, you know, anticipation and, and so forth, um, qualms and hoping everything was going to be good. I'm wondering, Melissa, do you still feel that you're at a crossroads at this very moment that your life and your career is at a crossroads? Mm-hmm, definitely. Definitely. The beginning of a second decade and the beginning of a new career. It's like starting over. It's like opening a flower that's just starting to bloom again. You know, it went to sleep and now it's blooming. And um, although it only went to sleep for a couple months, but it's, it's like uh, it changed a completely different color and everything has changed with it. I'm really excited and happy with what's happening to me now. Um, I hope it lasts. I really do. I'm having such a wonderful time. I'm thinking, and as I watch the film, I, this thought came to me that this is not Laura Ingalls at all. I mean, no. this is Charlie, whole different character, kind of character. Uh, she is, speaks rough language occasionally. Uh, and, and I'm wondering now, the, the Little House fans, uh, if there are a few raised eyebrows and they, they say, gosh, Melissa, Laura, whatever they would call you, um, how, what would you say to them if they seem a little shocked? Laura Ingalls was, was, Charlie is, and that's the way things are now. Could be a lot worse. The language could be a lot worse. The, um, the films that are being done now with all of this language and violence, you know, I think that, that the good, I don't think it's bad. I really don't think it's bad. It's, it's real. It's the way people are. There's not a, an incredibly used amount of uh, profanity in the film. There's no, there are very, very few words that are said, and not all of them are said by my character. 
Um, but it's Charlie. And that's just me playing a character that's not necessarily the way I am. Um, so I, I, I just hope they understand that. I really do. Are there any marriage plans in the offing? Not as far as I know. Um, I know Rob can't even say the word. So he says, mm, 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 and that's about it, the M word. I can joke about it, but I'm certainly not ready to get married. But there, I will get married someday. I don't know who to, and I will have babies. That I know for sure. And that'll be another crossroads in your life. That's right. Yes. Life, take it from one who's uh, got a lot of years on you. <laughs> life is a series of crossroads. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the challenge, is to endure them all. Melissa, I will tell you again, because I told you this last night, that I enjoyed your performance very, very much. And I hope the picture is a big hit for you. Do you have any other film plans at the moment? Not at the moment, but I will. You'll be hearing from me. Okay. Thank you, Melissa. Lovely to see you. Thank you.